Hello, hi. Hi, good teacher. Good. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm okay, thank you. Everything good. Let me see, where is everybody? Where is everybody? Okay, we have Adrian, Genaro, Iris, Evelyn, Alba, and Maribel. Let's wait one more minute. There's Renato, good. Yeah, Ernesto. Okay, well, let's start. Okay, remember yesterday, um, based on the listening activity from 2.7, answer the following. Example number one, it says. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Oscar. So number one, it says, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? It's upstairs across from the duty-free shop. It's right behind you. Or well, there isn't an ATM in this area. What is the correct? The first one. The first, the first one. one. You know what? Actually, the three are correct. Do you know what is an ATM? Cajero? Uh, yes. Automatic teller machine. Teller. Sí, lo, los, lo, la gente que le cambia el cheque en el banco, nos, en, en, bueno, en español se llaman cajeros, pero en inglés se llaman tellers. Okay. So, automatic teller machine, ATM. Okay, next. Based on the listening activity from the video on 2.7, what's the following question? How often do buses run? The second one. They run every two minutes or so. <clears throat> Based on the listening activity from the video 2.7, answer the following question. What other information does Eric ask for? The tier one. The tier the two one. Options. How would you transform the following sentence into an indirect question? Where is the nearest internet cafe? The first one. The first one. The first one. Rephrase the following question as indirect. How late do the buses run? The third one. Yes. The third one. Yes. All right. Cool. Class, yes or no? Today is very mm. hot. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay, so in this in this lesson, we're going to learn about 
how to describe a house or an apartment. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Hi, right, hello, good evening. For example, do you think a house in La Campanera for $50,000 is good? <laughs> no way. No way. No, it's too expensive, correct? Yes, it's too expensive. Yes. The house is very big, but it's Campanera. Mm -hmm. $50,000? No, man, it's too expensive. Do you think a house in Los Sueños for $500, million is okay? They have one million. Yes. Too much money. No. It's, it's too, too much expensive. money. Too expensive? Yeah. Okay. Hey, but los sueños is ahí vive Bukele. All the millionaires in the country. No, no. <laughs> no that's some beautiful houses. Yeah, but one million dollars, too expensive. No. <clears throat> it's too expensive. Okay, so that's what we're going to more or less talk about today. Let's watch the video. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you will be able to give your opinion about houses and apartments. I will be listening, you'll okay? You'll be able Don't to worry. evaluate your own house and apartment. For example, you'll be able to make the following statements. Apartments are too small for pets, but houses are too expensive. Houses cost too much money. Before I talk about the grammar involved in this particular class, what I would like to do now is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. We will listen to a few people talk about their opinions on houses and apartments. Your task is to listen carefully and answer a couple of questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses cost too much money. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Let me present some structure now. The first thing that I would like to do is to show you how to make evaluations using adjectives. And particularly, we're going to learn how to use the words enough and to. After that, we're going to make evaluations, but this time we're going to use nouns. And at the same time, we're also going to use the words enough and also to. First of all, what are adjectives? Well, adjectives are those words that describe nouns. So they describe people, places, or things. Since we're talking about evaluating houses and apartments, what we want to do is we want to think about some of those adjectives that we might use to evaluate a house or an apartment. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a lot of those words here. And then what I would like for you to do is to uh, memorize this and uh, maybe study them if you're not familiar with them. So for example, we have the adjectives comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, spacious. And I'm pretty sure you can think of many more. Let me 
present some structure at this time on how to make sense of this evaluation that you see there towards the left. Apartments aren't big enough for families. So in order for us to make that particular evaluation, we can think of the following structure. So let me go ahead and write that now. Following this structure, we can see that we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we have apartments. This is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be in its negative form. Okay. And then, and then this is going to be followed by the adjective. So in this case, the adjective is big. Then this is going to be followed by enough. And then um, we're going to have some sort of complement here. So in this case, it happens to be families, right? So if we look at the pattern, we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and follow the colors so that we can see what's happening there. That's in black. There we go. So we can see that the subject is apartments. Then this is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be the verb to be in its negative form. After that, we're going to have some sort of adjective. And then it's going to follow the word enough. And then we're going to include um, some sort of complement, if you will. So if we think about other evaluations that we can say about apartments, either apartments or homes, then we can say the following. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because the next evaluation is going to be quite similar. So we can say the following. Apartments aren't, and so I'm going to change the adjective here. So I'm going to say aren't spacious enough for families. Okay. And let's do one more. Uh, we can also say that apartments aren't, and I'm going to change the adjective now. I'm going to say apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. The next thing that I would like to do is to make sense of that second evaluation that you see there at the bottom. Now using the word to. And so what I want you to notice is the following. That we're just going to have different ways of evaluating things. And so there isn't just one way to do it. There are many different ways. So in this case, we're going to use this expression. And I want you to notice what's going to change. So I want you to think about what is the opposite of big? Well, the opposite of big, we can we can think of that as being small, right? So in this case, I want you to notice what, what's going to change. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to include two small. So the only thing that changes is that I'm no longer using the bird to be in its negative form, but now I'm using it in its positive form. And then I'm including two plus the adjective small. And I'm saying for families. So what I want you to notice is that these two sentences, these two evaluations are the same thing. The only thing is that I'm expressing them in different ways. The next thing that I would like to do now is to show you how to make evaluations. But now we're going to talk about making evaluations using nouns. And a couple of things will change. And so let me present the formula at this time. And I'm going to show you what kind of things will change. Well, first of all, um, similar to making evaluations with adjectives, we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we're going to say apartments. Okay, That's going to follow a verb. In this case, it's no longer the verb to be. So that's the first thing that changes. We're no longer using the verb to be. So in this case, we're using any other kind of verb. In this case, it happens to be that that's on a negative. So we, we're going to say don't have. That's uh, The verb is on its negative form. And then this follows enough. So opposite from adjectives, where we would include the adjective first, when we make evaluations using nouns, we no longer use the adjective first. We're going to include enough, and then we're going to include the noun. So let me give an example here. Don't have enough. And then uh, whatever um, noun that we want to include. So in this case, don't have enough parking spaces. Okay. 
Uh, so the noun is parked in space, and then you can think of a complement, if you will. So you can include something else there. So for example, uh, what could that be? Don't have enough parking spaces for people, right? That could be the complement. But in this case, the noun is parking spaces. And quickly, I want to talk about nouns. So what are nouns? What are some of the nouns that we can think about when we are, um, you know, thinking about making evaluations of apartments and houses? Well, uh, we can think of things like parking spaces, as you can see there. We can think of things like closet space, right? We can think of things like privacy. And of course, we can think of things like money, if you will, right? So these kind of things are nouns that we can think of. So we can say the following. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments don't have enough closet space. Apartments don't have enough privacy. And the last example that I would like to make is how to use to. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, this I'm going to take that example there. Houses, this follows the verse, so that continues to be the same. We are no longer going to include the word enough. So in this case, we're going to use too much money, right? Houses cost too much money. So if we can think of this, I'm going to follow the pattern there. Houses cost, that follows the verb. And then in this case, I want you to notice what happened. So we include too much money. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to evaluate your house or apartment, depends on where you live, right? And I want you to evaluate your house or apartment using adjectives such as the ones that are here and of course following the formula that I presented to you earlier today. And I also want you to evaluate your house or apartment using nouns. So uh, once again, using the formula that I'm presenting to you today. And then, of course, you're going to follow this formula. So I want you to make as many examples as you possibly can. The idea is to practice as much as possible. OK, um, let's do one thing. Let's do a uh, adjective with big. For example, class, um, hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Hello. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, I do. Okay, imagine I am hungry and I go to Pizza Hut and they say, oh, we have an offer for pizza for two people. The pizza is eight slices. So that's big, no? Do you know what slices is? Yes. Okay, so in the pizza is eight slices for two people. And I told my wife, Mira, you know, for eight slices. My wife said, that's big. And there's another special offer. We have one for 12 slices for two people. No, man, that's very big. Very big. What is very big? Muy grande. Mm -hmm. Y si no, tenemos una 18. No, man, that's too big. For two people. So, um, Carlos, Carlos Arriaza. Yes, sure. So, do you think 
a pizza with eight slices for two people is big, very big, or too big? Too big. Eight slices for two people? Yeah, excuse me, very big. Okay, it's very big. Good. Evelyn. Yes. Do you think that four slices for two people, the pizza is big, very big, or too big? It's a no. It's what? It's, I, I don't think it's big. Maybe it's too small. <laughs> yes. Yeah, si o no, eso hacen, and when you call Pizza Hut, hi, hi, thank you for calling Pizza Hut. My name is, uh, do you want the special for today? An extra supreme, excuse me, wait, okay, look. And they say, for how many people? And I say, for two mm. people. Oh, we have a special offer. We have a pizza for 12 slices. That's what, 12 slices? No, that's too big. Too big, no? Entonces, okay, then we have one for 10 slices. Nah, that's very big. Okay, we have one for eight slices. Okay, that's big. And we have one for four. No, that's too small. Okay, um, Alba Roxana, are you there? Yes, I am. Hi, do you like, Hi. do you like Los Atos? Cars, what? cars, Atos. Atos? I don't get it. Atos. 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 Do you know that model? No. Oh, okay, That's why don't. I don't get it. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Uh, Evelyn, you get it, right? Yes. Do you like that car? It's too small. Good. Yes, it's too small. I buy, it's a very, very small car. I mean, it's a comp, you know, every car, every like Toyota, Nissan, every has a compact car. But the Atos is like really compact. Yeah, un poquito Just más chiquito y es juguete. It's like oh, a toy, yes. No, Just for I, two people or no, one ironic, people? No, ironically. One person. Or, it's four doors. Really? <laughs> because I have a, a Chevrolet Spark. It's small, but not too small. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. The Spark, the Atos is smaller. It's smaller? Really? Yes. Yes. My God. No. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, my wife said, oh, I like that car. I said, yes, but no, it's too small. Se carga una bicicleta, le pega ahí. Imagine you driving to San Miguel in that car. <laughs> <laughs> that, it's like a Vespa of motorcycles. No, but it's okay. Yeah, okay, so, but that's the thing. I like that car, but it's too small. Hey, Marvel, you're back. Hello, Marvel. Hello, DJ. Marvel, um, um, I I saw in Marketplace a beautiful Toyota Corolla, two thousand fifteen, twenty fifteen. For ten thousand dollars, do you think it's good? It's good. 
is good. Really? Uh, so then uh, here the adjective is ex expensive. Yes, expensive. Or cheap. The contrary is cheap. Expensive. It's too expensive. Yes, too expensive. Okay, yeah, because a Toyota Corolla 2015 for $10,000. It's too cheap, is cheap or too expensive? Um, too cheap. Demasiado barato. Entonces lo compro. That's too expensive. No, I don't know. Okay, mm. ¿sabe qué es expensive, Marvel? Hello. Es caro. Okay, good. Ahora, un Toyota del 2015 por 10 mil dólares, ¿es muy caro o es barato? Es muy caro. Okay, it's too, it's too expensive. Yes. Ahora, imagine a Toyota 2015 for $3,000 in perfect condition. Sí. Very good. Yes, but it's, it's very good, but for me, it's too good. Too good. It's demasiado bueno. No, man. Maybe there's a, yeah. Tough yeah, to be true. Exactly. <laughs> it's too. Yeah, you know, if you tell me, hey, teacher, look, a Toyota Corolla 2015 for three thousand dollars. What? Let me see. Oh, look, the picture. Oh, nice. Oh, perfect condition. Wow, that's too good. Too good, demasiado bueno para ser cierto. Too good to be true. And I would recommend you, you know what? I think that's too good to be true. Mm, there is something fishy. Saben que es fishy. Fish? Pescado. Pescado. Okay, cuando alguien dice fishy, hmm, algo huele mal. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's an expression in English. I say, hmm, that's fishy. Because $3,000 is too good to be true. Ah, miren, le voy a decir algo rapidito hablando de esto, porque ya van dos personas que me doy cuenta que le va pasando. Las tiendas de empeño. Hoy uno puede empeñar los carros, ¿correcto? Y póngale que si ustedes van a empeñar su carro, ustedes tienen un Toyota, un Toyota, digamos un Toyota 2015, y la casa de empeño les da, no sé, cuatro mil dólares. Ellos le dicen a usted, ¿quiere guardar el carro o andarlo? Y uno dice, no, lo quiero andar. Ok, entonces ellos les ponen un GPS. Y no sé qué lo lado hacen, pero... Llegan a un acuerdo. Entonces vienen ellos y dan los tres mil dólares. Digamos que yo lo hago. Yo di mi carro y me dieron cuatro mil dólares por mi carro. Porque lo evaluaron como en diez mil, digamos. Entonces, la casa de empeño no me quita mis papeles ni nada. Ellos simplemente mandan el contrato a hacer trasen y ahí cambia de propietario a prenda. Pero eso se tarda hasta de 8 a 15 días. Entonces lo que le iba a decir, porque ya van dos casos que voy oyendo es, durante dos, esos 8 o 15 días la gente vende caro. Entonces vengo yo y se la vendo a Alba y le digo, no, chequé en internet. Sí, todo está legítimo. Pum, Alba lo compra. Al año siguiente o los dos años, cuando ella quiere hacer el cambio de o renovar o que el traspaso, va a aparecer el carro como prenda. So, 
Too it's dangerous. An, they don't know that stuff, I guess. So be careful. Entonces, I would say, hmm, Marvel, a, a 2015 Toyota for $3,000, it's too good to be true. Yes. Okay. Um, Evelyn. Mariela. Yes. Listen, I love San Miguel. I really love San Miguel, but it's too hot. Also, it's not hot. It's not very uh -huh. hot. It's too hot. Yes. Otra cosa que me acuerdo de San Miguel que ya todo el mundo tiene aire. ¿no? O sea, no, no, es un privi, no es un lujo, sino no. que es, es como necesidad básica. <laughs> Every yeah, house. Really. Yes, no, it's <laughs> true. Every house has air conditioning. Yes. Son Sonate en Acajutla is another example, teacher. Oh, really? Yeah, yes, yeah. Son Sonate is too, too hot. Yeah, I mean, Acajutla. Be, and... you... Yeah, Cajutla is hot. Cajutla is hot, yes. No, but you know, like in San Salvador, like if I go visit you and you have air conditioning, you, oh, wow, nice air con In San Miguel, every house. It's necessary. Yes. Uh, and, 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 and 10 or 20 fans. <laughs> it's a good business. Okay, so do you understand the difference now? Yes, teacher. Um, yes, teacher. Let me see. My, um, where is everybody today? Francisco Javier, where do you live? I live in San Pedro Pro La Pan. San Pedro Pro La Pan. Okay, do you like yes. San Pedro Pro La Pan? Yes, I like. And what is one problem of San Pedro Perulapan? The problem is transportation, transport. What's wrong with the transportation? The bathroom uh, of the 40 minutes. So then the transportation is too disorganized. Yes. Yes, it's a problem with the display. Okay. Yeah. You know, I want to buy a house in Ataco. But the problem is Ataco is too far from San Salvador. Because I have to come to San Salvador to work. So that's the only problem. But I love a taco because the weather is nice. But it's too, too far. What is too far? Demasiado lejos. Yes. Yes. It's, it's, other, it's the other problem. It's the same. It's very yeah. San Pedro, Pedro, San Pedro, Pedro my, La Pana. Yes, where do you work? I work in... Primar Santelena. Oh, yes. Oh, man, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God, you work very far. <laughs> yes. And you travel by bus? No, I travel in my car. Oh, yeah. So you have to pass Boulevard del Ejército. Oh, man. you passed. Yes. Las peores calles que existen tráfico, you pass. Yes. What uh, time? I, I pass mm, three, three sun for many traffic. What time? Uh, what do you do in, in Price Mart? I, I do it from system programmation. Oh, okay. You, you're yes. a system program. Yes. Uh, Price Mart opens at 10 or 7. Right now, open seven and half. Seven thirty. Yes. Seven thirty. What time do you go in? 
uh, I'm going um, one hour, um, one hours and 30 minutes or more. Now, what time do you go in to work? No, ¿A qué horas entra? What time ah, do you go in? Uh, at night, night o'clock. At nine, okay. Wow. Yes, San Pedro Puro La Pan is beautiful, but it's too far from it's Santa Elena. It's another problem. Yes. Teacher, teacher. Yes. I think, I think mm, la carretera de los chorros is more terrible than Boulevard del Ejército. Maybe, huh? It's so terrible. I don't, I don't, I don't drive <laughs> for, for that. I prefer drive for, for Quesaltepeque. When I when I go to San Salvador, and imagine imagine in, in next year, I think that the street is going to be bigger. Ah yes, this will be so beautiful. But when the process the process will be terrible. Ah for you. yeah, the process is so so difficult too. I I suffered because I live next al justo a la part of Hawar circle okay yes, I, saw Hawar. I suffered I suffered every morning in the construction because every day every morning they change directions Every morning, you know, like, no, 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 no. Hoy sentido contrario. No, no. Oh, man. But now it's, it's nice. So stressful. It's so stressful. It's very stressful. Yes. All right. Um, Evelyn, do you like Santa Tecla? Yes, I like. What is something Santa Tecla is too much? What, what, compared to San Miguel? If, give me an example with Santa Tecla was two, something positive or negative. In the center is always rapid. It's always what? There, there always are, are rapid in Santa Tecla center. So there's too much traffic. Too much traffic, yes. It's not center, it's downtown. Downtown, yes. So. Yes. Um, Carlos Arriaza, where do you live? I live in Santa Ana. Oh, yeah. Why don't you live? Go, go live to Canton El Pepeto. Uh, no. Do you live in La Campanera. The houses are very, very but cheap. Yes, yeah, it's, it's too dangerous. Okay. Yes, it's too dangerous. You know, yeah, I can say like, hey, go, go to Canto. Uh, go to. Uh, go to. Go live to. La Campanera, no, why? It's too expensive. I'm sorry, it's too dangerous. <laughs> yes. Maribel. Hi, Maribel. What do you prefer, coffee cup or Starbucks coffee? I prefer 
Because um, it's terrible, but mm, it's cafe. Excuse me. I prefer prefer uh, nice cafe. Listen to my question, please. Listen. What do you prefer, Starbucks or coffee cup? Coffee cup. No dije cafe listo or Nescafe. No. I said Starbucks or no, coffee, cup. coffee cup. For me, it's better Starbucks. Wait, wait. Let's, let's listen to Maribel first. So what do you prefer, Maribel? <laughs> um, I prefer... Uh, Uh, coffee, coffee, coffee cake in Plaza Mundo. Maribel, listen to my question. Listen, please. What do you prefer? Coffee cup or, okay. What do you prefer, pizza or hamburgers? I uh, prefer uh, hamburgers. Very good. All right, good. Now, what do you prefer, Starbucks or coffee cup? Nunca dije que no, ni he mencionado lugares. Estoy mencionando franquicias. Mm -hmm. So what do you prefer, coffee cup or Starbucks, Maribel? I prefer uh, Starbucks. Okay, good. You know, I prefer Mr. Donut. <laughs> the I know. Why? Mm, I, I don't know why. I, I am a pencil. I have a question. Whoa, I hear a lot of noise. Wait, who's talking? Hello? Hola, I have, Hi. I have a question. Yes. Y si yo, y si no prefiero ninguno, ¿cómo respondo? Just say, I don't like coffee. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay, good. No, you see, the thing is, I love coffee. I am a big coffee fan. I drink coffee always. And I don't like coffee, uh, Starbucks, because it's, it's not very good and it's too expensive. And um, the coffee for Mr. Donut, I don't like Mr. Donut, but the coffee is good. The coffee from Pollo Campero is good too. Yes. And uh, Evelyn, you like Juan Valdez, right? Yes. Oh, and I don't like instant coffee. Yeah. Siempre tengo problemas cuando viene a pupusería. ¿Va a querer café? ¿Es de cafetera o instant? No, de sobrecito. No, thank you. Uh, chocolate, please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, oh. Aunque sea Folgers, I, I know I like coffee, coffee. All right, very good. So that's good. You know, um, my favorite restaurant is Faisca de Brasil, but it's too expensive. Yes, do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. My favorite car is the Audi. But man, it's too expensive. Yes. Messi is too good. No humano. And no. Okay. Um, that's that's the difference. It's two. For example, um. Me pueden decir, hey, don't go to la campanera because it's too expensive, I'm sorry, too dangerous. 
Um, Francisco Javier, don't take your wife to Faisca de Brasil because it's too expensive. Yes. When they're novios, yeah, maybe, you know, let's go, baby. But you're married, go to Don Pollo. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, um, I love the iPhone. ¿Cuál es el último que salió? El 14, 11, 12, I don't know. 11. The iPhone 11. Do you like the iPhone 11? 12. 12. 13. No, I think 13, yeah. 13 is your rate. Oh, man. ¿Lo van a comprar? Are you going to buy it? No. no. <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> never, yes. never. It's too, too expensive. expensive. Me quedo sin comer. <laughs> even even the iPhone 12 is too expensive yet. I have iPhone 4, I think. I have the iPhone 4. Yes, I think I think the iPhones are too expensive. Listen to this. My favorite fast food restaurant is McDonald's. For me, the Big Mac is the best hamburger. The only problem is it's too small. Yes, All the hamburgers so. are too small. No, because the Whoppers, the Whoppers are big. No, McDonald's. Oh, yes. In yes. McDonald's, yes. Oh, yeah, in McDonald's, yes. All, the, are, hamburgers. Mm -hmm. all the hamburgers, they're too small. Too small. Mm -hmm. Y sabe que en la competencia, por eso es que Burger King hizo eso, sacaron el Whopper. Para darle competencia a McDonald's, para hacer la hamburguesa más grande. But Whopper is good, very good. It's good, but I still, I prefer McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I prefer but, Wendy's. Oh, the Frosties. I like the Frosties and Wendy's. The milk. Frosty. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's the difference between two and, and the rest, okay? So let me see what is next here. Do you like... Do you like the movie? Ah, vamos a ver en Semana Santa. Ben Hur. Do you like that movie? Oh, my mother obligated me to watch it. Why don't you like the movie? It's too long. It's four hours, no? It's very long. It's very old too. It's very old. Very boring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have do you have Disney? You have Netflix, correct? Do you have Disney? No, teacher. Only Netflix. Um I recently I recently got Netflix. I'm sorry, um Disney is not bad. Are you not some nostalgia? The old movies, it's good. Movies de los ochentas, nice. All right, okay. Let's see the next. Listen to this video, please. No, man, it's eight minutes. It's too long. Saben que creo que esta es la única. Este, este. Que todos los videos son largos, porque generalmente todos son como de dos minutos o tres. These are long. They're too long. Too long. They're too long, but I have to do it. Okay, let me see. 
Hoy, hoy quiero ustedes que me respondan usando to. Hmm. Let me see. Nidia, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Nidia, do you like Ricky Martin? <laughs> yes, I like Ricky Martin. Okay. Do you like George Clooney? Yes, I like George Clooney. <laughs> Do you like... <clears throat> Let me see. Sean Connery? Mm, no, I don't like Sean Connery. Why? He's so too physical. old. Very good. Okay, good. He's too old. Okay, good. All right. Let me see. Genaro, mm -hmm. hi. Hi, teacher. Genaro, do you like Do you like sopa de pata? Yes, I like sopa de pata. Let me see. ¿Cuál es una comida que no o, o le gustan o la odian? ¿Cuál sería? Eh, oh, de do, tortura. Oh, ok, ya. Yeah. El, el fresco de carao. Ya, yeah. fritada. ¿Do you like fritada, Genaro? Yes, I like fritada. Ok, good. Me too, I love fritada. Ok, ¿do you like well, turtle eggs? No, I no like. Turtle But, eggs. Eh, because, eh, mm, ¿cómo decir que arenosos? Mm. I know it like eggs, tortue, because. Eh, Look at the chat, they are too sandy. De tu sandy. Ajá, porque la palabra arena es sand. Sand. Ta, tu sandy. Sí. Yes. Ok, good. I don't like turtle eggs because they're too... I don't know, they're too... <laughs> I don't know the adjective because they're, they're, they're very bad. All right, let me see. Adrián, are you there? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Adrián, do you like Jennifer Lopez? Yes, I like. Teacher. You do? Yes, I like. Uh, I don't like her. Why? I think she's too too friendly. Ah, okay. Same. <laughs> es muy amigable, ¿no? <laughs> yes. She's too friendly. Yes, yes. Or <laughs> All right. Daniel Edgardo. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. Do you like Nurka? Nurka. Yes, I like. Really? Yeah, teacher. Okay. I think she's too crazy. Ah, it's too crazy. Oh. <laughs> no, I, I, I for me, for me, she's too for crazy. You, for you. Nurka. Yes. Eh, eh, que no la conozco, dice mi esposa, que ya me va a pegar porque dije que me gustaba. Ok. <laughs> I, I, like, I like Scarlett Johansson. Ah, Scarlett Johansson. I love sí. Penelope Cruz. Oh, she's, she's so beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, she's very beautiful. She's so now, beautiful. Now, Evelyn. Do you, like, do, do you like Cristiano Ronaldo physically? No. Why? I think he's too ugly. Or he's too metro, no? I don't like Do you understand the, the expression he's too metro? Metrosexual? Oh, metrosexual? Yes. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he's. Ya se pone maquillaje y se pila. Yeah. Yeah, he's too. Yeah, I don't like her. He's too metrosexual. Okay, good. Alba Roxana. Do you yes, like sure. do you like Brad Pitt? Not really. Why not? You are the first woman that I know that doesn't like Brad Pitt. No, I don't like him. You don't like Brad Pitt? <laughs> hey, I like Brad Pitt. <laughs> no, Brad Pitt is very handsome. Why don't you like Brad Pitt? Mm -hmm. Because he's a white no? man, white skin, and I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like him. He's too mm -hmm. white. He's too white. Yeah, that was the correct answer. Look. <laughs> I am yellow. <laughs> I am black here because I drive, but yeah, yeah, I don't like white people. It's ugly. Look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it's ugly. It's, it's feo ser bien. O sea, chile. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Because when you go to the beach, uno se pone cualquier cosa and you just get red. I'm going to say Camarón, you look like <laughs> shrimp, yes. Yeah, yeah, shrimp. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. It's true. Okay. All right. So, you know, I like um so uh let me see. Daniel Edgardo, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Oh yeah, there you are. Where's your wife? What? Is your wife jealous or too jealous? What is jealous, teacher? Jealous. What is the name of your ex-girlfriend, Daniel? Ah, uh, my name, my my ex-girlfriend. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Si ven un zapato volar. I understand, yes, teacher. I okay. Understand. Yeah. <laughs> I understand, teacher. Me reservo okay. la respuesta. <laughs> Jealous is celosa. Sí, celosa. Jealous. Yes. Uh -huh. no, is your no, wife no. jealous, very jealous, or too jealous? Uh, jealous. She's jealous. Oh, okay, good. All, That's good. All of the, all of the girl, I think, is jealous. Oh, okay, good. Aunque sea un poquito. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I are you jealous? Uh, yes. You are? Yes, oh. I'm jealous. Oh, I am nothing. I am not jealous at all. Ah, uh, no creo. No, I am I'm not. I, I don't know why. Oh, okay. I, no le digo porque a mi esposa yo le mandé strippers en su en su Mentira, no creo eso, I yo. did. Yeah, I did. Ah, uh huh. Eran gay, anyways. So. <laughs> <laughs> See, the majority, the majority is no, but I'm not jealous. Una vez llevé a mi esposa y a mi mamá y a mi tía. Bueno, no entré, pero fueron a ver strippers, bailarines. Oh, open mind, open mind. Yeah, because my mother, my mother was very open mind. Okay, good. <laughs> Lo único que le dije, no quiero ir lo que hicieron. I, I was driving only. Es que era girls' night. All right. Okay. All right. Imagino que tienen los mismos derechos, bro. Yeah. Yes. Pero no lo hago. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I am a... I am a perfect husband. Ah, no. <laughs> okay, teacher. All right, here's a question. Listen to this. Uh oh. Look at the chat. 
dumb. Do you know what is dumb? Like silly? No. Okay. Sanchez Seren. Like silly? <laughs> exactly, yes. <laughs> Sanchez Seren was a massive fault. He was he was uh, he was funny. Buenos memes salieron. No, es que había donde escoger, man. Cuando estaba con los inválidos y les dije, por favor, pónganse de pie. Buena, yo, Esa fue buena, hombre. O un el tributo a Monseñor Romero, se le olvidó el nombre. <laughs> oh, he, well, okay, so Sanchez Seren was dumb, very dumb, or too dumb? Too dumb. <laughs> too dumb. Too dumb. Too dumb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I, I people... Like my friends, Sanchez Seren is the president of El Salvador. He's too dumb to be a president. I say, hey, people vote. He's too dumb. But Nicolás Maduro's dumb too. Vieron el video de las gotitas mágicas que vendió, que vendía Nicolás Maduro para el COVID. Dude, dumb, dead man. <laughs> Yeah, gotita for the COVID. Okay, so do you know that stadium in the stadio que van a hacer? The, the stadium? I heard about that. But... The, the donation from China, correct? Yes. Yeah. Honestly, I don't think that's necessary because El Salvador is, San Salvador is too small. And we have two stadiums, Mexico and yes. Cuscatlan. So why? I don't. It doesn't I, make, make sense. Well, but remember, it's a donation, so. Yeah, but yeah. it could be more for education, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but uh, because imagine it's going to be the biggest stadium in Central America. Sí, hay and in El Salvador is too small. <laughs> El Salvador is too small, yes. So in my opinion, okay. The new stadium, pero Mágico González change or hacerlo like for, for athletes, like a super gym, swimming pools, everything for... That would be nice. Yes. Everything for like preparation for the athletes of El Salvador like a very top gym, that would be good. But we don't need three stadiums. For El Barraza, they could use. No, <laughs> si como va la isla. <laughs> no, I mean, because in uh, Oriente, uh, we don't have anything about donations, so. Oh they... yeah, I remember in, in San Miguel, well, antes, I don't know now, Esto se ve tonto, pero si, si usted no toma o oh, cerveza, algo así, San Miguel es boring. <laughs> Porque no había nada que hacer. Uh, but, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I remember like the big thing, everybody goes to Metro Centro. Yes. <laughs> Por eso que yo me podía a todos los bares, como... Like, <laughs> We understand. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. Yeah. But I frequently, I, I went to Cuco to, I, 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 como I, yo iba a Cuco, no dije el Cuco. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. So, one more time. So, in my opinion, El Salvador is too small for three big stadiums. And only soccer is the important sport. Yes. And only men. Yeah. Hey, tomorrow la selecta. Do you go? I can't. We have class tomorrow. Desde el estadio, Dela. 
A veces se oye aquí los goles. Piensa que yo oigo los conciertos del Mágico González y, lo, y también los, los del Sayo Cujetlán. La última vez que vino Luis Miguel se oía todo el concierto acá. Y le dije a mi esposa, vaya, abramos la ventana y escuchemos a Luis Miguel. Romantic. Estaba enojada porque quería ir. <risa> Y en España abrí la ventana y tener Luis Miguel, ¿no? <risa> yes. Um, Alba. Yes. I have a question. In San Miguel, carnival this year or no? No, the, I heard that they, they're going to have the, I don't know how to say, the, the queen, the queen solution mm -hmm. in a private place just for judges and those important people but we don't we are not having the carnival carnival somewhere it's canceled okay yes that's two years no yes it's the second year we don't have it i saw tigres del norte in la ruspel for free wow <laughs> that was good a, times <laughs> yeah it was a good concert I like I like Tigres del Norte. They're cool. Okay, class. So we finished that. Miren, les iba a decir algo. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yo entiendo que a veces los temas que tenemos que ver, los tenemos que ver. No sé. Los tenemos que ver rápido. Pero me gustaría terminar lo más rápido posible todos los temas porque nos quedan dos semanas. Y si es posible, la última semana hacemos algo que se llama freestyle. Freestyle es, vamos a hacer, a estudiar a nuestra manera. Vamos a hacer bien los comparativos. Ustedes se van a preguntar, vamos a hacer bien los superlativos, vamos a hacer esto, esto. Ok, entonces entre más rápido terminemos. Contar que nos queden unos dos o tres días libres. Oh, nice. Ok. Yeah. All right. So I will see you tomorrow. Ok. Good, Bye. Good, Bye. Night, good, good night. Good night. Aunque good night. Uh, estoy bien seguro good que a la mitad no voy a ver mañana. A las ocho empieza el partido. Aunque sea el primer tiempo, no lo vamos a ver. <laughs> o, o casualidad todos van a estar así mañana <laughs> ok, goodbye goodbye bye bye, bye. 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 bye.